It's the breakout star of the AI world. What we can call the deep seek sell off is still really pressuring tech. That just put Wall Street on notice. Today, these fears from China's deep seek AI sparking the sell off in the market. Chinese artificial intelligence company Deep Seek sending American tech stocks into a nosedive as their new open source AI tool has become one of the most widely used and highest rated in the world. Unseating OpenAI's ChatGPT as the top free app in the U.S. Apple App Store. Side by side, the competitors look and feel very similar. Both can help you plan a five-day getaway vacation or even provide an easy-to-make dinner recipe. But here's where they diverge. DeepSeek's integrated DeepThink feature gives users a glimpse into its thought process. We asked both chatbots to tell us a joke that was safe for work, 10 words long, and wasn't cheesy. ChatGPT replied, why did the scarecrow succeed? He stood out in the fields. DeepSeek replied with, time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like a banana. We'll give you a second to think about that one. DeepSeek also showed its chain of thought, sharing jokes the AI thought about making but decided didn't meet our criteria, including a scarecrow joke very similar to ChatGPT's that it deemed too cheesy. DeepSeek would not provide answer to some topics deemed sensitive in China. When we asked it what happened in Tiananmen Square, the AI declined to answer, instead saying it was designed to provide helpful and harmless responses. ChatGPT did provide answers to the same questions. DeepSeek says they trained their model in just two months for less than $6 million, seemingly leapfrogging its American competitors like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Meta, who have spent millions training their models, and doing it despite U.S. efforts to block high-power AI chips from the Chinese market. They were able to really do this on what some people would call a shoestring budget. Thank you. Less than a week ago, the Trump administration rolled out a $500 billion AI initiative called Stargate. What we want to do is we want to keep it in this country. China is a competitor and others are competitors. We want we want it to be in this country and we're making it uh, available. Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, which is participating in Stargate, issued a warning about China's AI capabilities in an interview with CNBC from the World Economic Forum. To see the deep seek um, um, new model, it's, right. it's super impressive. I think we should take the development out of China very, very seriously. But Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, seemed to suggest deep seek's product is a derivative of his own. Posting after the chatbot's launch last month, it is relatively easy to copy something that you know works. It is extremely hard to do something new, risky, and difficult when you don't know if it will work. DeepSeek has not responded to NBC News' request for comment. Brian Chung joins us tonight. Brian, we now know where you get your comedy material. <laughs> um, but on a serious note, is DeepSeek actually made in a much cheaper fashion than ChatGPT? Do we know the, the, the answer to that? Yeah, well, look, when it comes to that 5.6 million figure, that is self-reported from this Chinese company. So take that as you will. Now, when it comes to the scale of it, though, I want to point out that is so much cheaper than how much it costs the other companies. OpenAI, it cost them about $78 million to train their models. And Google, it cost them almost $200 million to train their Gemini. So again, 5.6 million is just really a drop in the bucket compared to those other figures. Although I didn't, I didn't realize you thought my jokes were that cheesy, Tom. I mean, <laughs> Brian, the news triggered a massive stock sell off right of nvidia which everyone had been following all day it makes many of the chips that power american ai models nvidia shares look at this dropping nearly 17 percent today more than 24 dollars a share this graph doesn't really do it justice that translates to a loss of nearly 600 billion dollars in market cap what bloomberg is reporting is the biggest market value drop in u.s stock market history and some of the indices a large part of which are tech stocks also took a hit you see them right here the question to you brian how worried should investors and people who have a lot of tech stocks in their 401k be right now? Yeah, I've been getting more questions about what's going to happen to my NVIDIA stock than I got actually about DeepSeek today. But look, it's it's colossal when you consider that just the market cap loss that NVIDIA took today, that's the equivalent of like an Exxon Mobil, the entirety of that company. So it's really big here. But I think one argument here is that NVIDIA stock has basically been going to the moon over the last two years. So this may have been one excuse for those that wanted to sell to ultimately sell. But I do want to point out that NVIDIA is such a key part of this story because they're the ones that manufacture the chips that really drive AI. So if you do it a lot cheaply, you don't have to buy as much of it. So that's maybe one reason why the stock went down today. Brian Chung, always great to have you on. For more on the impact of DeepSeek, 
could have on the AI market and the future of technology. I want to bring in Matt Sheehan. He's a fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. He's done extensive research on China's work in artificial intelligence. Matt, you're a great guy to have on tonight to explain this. Is DeepSeek better than ChatGPT? DeepSeek is essentially on par with what OpenAI released in September of last year, which is the O1 model. That's their own reasoning model that takes the time to think through its steps, as, we're de as was demonstrated there. So you could say, in some sense, that uh, DeepSeek is just a few months behind OpenAI. It's important to keep in mind, though, that OpenAI has already sort of released a private demo of O3, their updated model, which appears to be performing at much higher levels. So China's really, DeepSeek specifically, has really closed the gap. But it's hard to say that it's an exact equivalent. Is Sam point. Altman right? Did China basically do what they've done with luxury goods, what they do with pretty much any product that America manufactures? They make a copy of it and sell it cheaper. Is that what this is? It's not so much a copy as it took inspiration from what OpenAI did. And what Sam correctly pointed out there is that when you sort of know the destination, you know what you're trying to create, it's much easier to get there, even if you're the second person trying to sort of hoe that road. But they're saying it costs them less than $6 million to make. They did this in two months. Tech companies are saying it costs billions to invest in AI infrastructure here. They're asking for billions from the government. So, I mean, is this a cheaper model that does the same thing? The $5.6 million number is really not capturing the whole picture. You have to spend a lot more to essentially up your skills and develop your, your training data and a lot of things before that 5.6 million number comes in. What they've done is very impressive and they have done it much more, efficient, much more efficiently than a lot of the US competitors. But to just look at that number and say sort of the game is over, they're way out ahead or we don't need to invest is, is just not right. DeepSeek is, from what I understand, is working with inferior chips, right? And this is part of the crackdown that the US put on competitors. But by doing that, did they essentially force China's hand to make something maybe more affordable, maybe better? That's exactly right. Um, U.S. chip controls have big picture just constrained the total volume of compute in China. They've made it more expensive. So when you're sort of backed into a corner and you have to deal with these constraints, then you're going to put all your energy into efficiency. And that's really paid off for them. U.S. companies essentially have the luxury of just throwing more and more compute at the problem. And so that's the route that they've gone down. That might pay off big time in the long run, but it has forced DeepSeek to be more efficient. And that's probably going to pay dividends when it comes to serving the model globally. In the AI race, what happens here now? Um, in the big picture, the U.S. still has a pretty strong lead. And I think this might lead the U.S. government to really double down on a specific area of chip controls that could hamper China. That's controls on the inference chips, the chips you use when you're running the model as opposed to training the model. If the U.S. does that, that will be a very unfortunate knock-on effect for DeepSeek and for China in general. Um, big picture, I would still be betting on the U.S. long term. The compute advantage is durable. And no matter how efficiently they're able to work with the limited compute they have, they just don't have as much that is going to pay dividends for the U.S. over a one, two, three year span. We got about 15 seconds. Should people be concerned about what they put into deep seek because it is controlled by the Chinese government? If you're using the app, <coughs> excuse me, if you're using the app, then yes, that data is going to deep seek. If you download the open source model and run it locally, then that all stays on your computer. All right, Matt, pleasure to have you. Thank you for all of that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.